So this is another video on the Paycheck Protection Program and an alert. People need to know that funds are still available. Uh, banks are still accepting applications. A new round of applications being accepted. If you submitted through one of the big banks and got burned, I'll, I'll use that term lightly, but if you got burned by one of the big banks, it's time to come back and start a relationship with a local bank that can give you the personal attention that you uh, deserve. Um, and again, there's been a new round of funding and there were some specific provisions in the second round of funding that made availability for uh, local banks to have these loans available to you. So again, if you, if you got, felt like you got shut out, now's the time to start a relationship with a local bank and start getting yourself access to some of the funds. I'm gonna share a screen now and give a set of resources that I thought was really pretty good. And this is a website here, bench.com. Um, they've got some really interesting um, feedback on some of the basic questions. Uh, let's say that you had to let an employee go in March. Can you rehire them? And the answer to that question is absolutely. Not only can you, but you should. You should make some attempts to reach out to these folks and bring them back in, give a, give a letter, get some written correspondence so that if they decide not to come back in for whatever reason, you've made that attempt. Um, be very clear about what the intentions of the PPP program are. The program is entitled to uh, help you make your payroll expenses. And I really encourage people, and I'm gonna drop this link in here, to read the actual interim rule. There's all kinds of stuff floating around out there, all kinds of advice. Uh, some of it's bad, some of it's wrong, and a lot of that, quite frankly, is a function of the fact that the rules keep changing. Um, you will see that this, uh, the interim rule continues to get published and updated, and you have to pay attention to the latest versions of it to understand exactly what the rules are. Now, the, the program provides a loan, and that's an important thing, it is a loan to uh, small businesses, and the primary intent of the loan is to help you make payroll. One of the best singular pieces of advice I can give is to, when you're making your application, be very careful about the details, number of employees, if you're using a third-party processor like ADP or any other payroll sites, um, they have the reports that are already necessary for you to run out and give to your bank. Now you make your certification. Again, one of the critical things I think people need to understand is you make that certification on the application that you need the loan to sustain, um, but then you also make the certification again once your loan has been approved. All right, you need to look at your business. If you're seeing uh, business crash, your business coming in, revenue crashing, uh, that's appropriate. If on the other hand, you've been able to reconfigure and recalibrate your business and your uh, uh, business is, is stabilizing or at least uh, you're making a little bit more some people, then you are not eligible to accept the loan. Now, what can the loan be used for? Now, one of the most important things you can do is when you get the loan, have a separate bank account that was established and the loan proceeds were deposited into there. And then the only thing that comes out of those bank accounts are uh, loans that are or expenses that are qualified under the interim rule. The clear thing is payroll. Again, if you're using the payroll service, they point the, the payroll service to that account and only payroll comes out of there and your mortgage goes into there and only the mortgage stuff comes out of there. Um, there are going to be audits of loans. There are gonna be some very specific record keeping requirements. And if you've kept the loan, proceeds in the ins and outs really simple it should make it easier for you to go through the audit and to get the, the, the forgiveness that's you're looking for now all of it may not be forgivable if um you haven't been able to use all the expenses for payroll and the other things um then it may not be forgivable that's fine it just converts to a loan it's payable over a two-year period of time but again the most important thing for you to do is to take a look at the link to the final rule that's right here and again, I like this other site here that has um, some uh, nice, easy to understand answers, always checking back to follow up. We're gonna be doing a lot of work with folks on the other side of this to make sure that um, they get the appropriate kind of relief that they're looking for um, on the other side of the loan.